on Boylston Street. Uh, Boylston Street up in Boston. It's where the Boston Marathon ends. 150 years after the Battle of Gettysburg, they're performing first aid and triage up there. Basically, a year after the Battle of Antietam, you have the Battle of Gettysburg. And Boylston is there at the wheat field, Z. Boylston Adams with the 32nd Massachusetts. And he is in command of an aid station. And the wounded are coming directly off the field to this collection point, and they're receiving first aid. So the bleeding is being stopped, and you have stretcher bearers on the field collecting wounded, bringing them to an aid station where they have first aid and triage. And then the ambulances bring them to a field hospital where they have their primary care. We're still doing, well, a version of it today. It's just more modern, and they're not using horse-drawn ambulances anymore. The man who changed it all was a man by the name of Dr. Jonathan Letterman. He was the uh, medical director of the Army of the Potomac. He instituted not only that change, but he developed the ambulance corps itself, the policy of having all of the medical supplies under the medical department instead of the quartermaster, and instituted a whole bunch of other changes that we're still using today, like uh, three surgeons to an operating table. That was him. Flash forward 150 years after the Battle of Gettysburg, what happened on Boylston Street? Well, the Boston Marathon bombings. And that is one thing that you can see there is first responders going to the scene extremely quickly and they're providing first aid and triage. It directly relates not only to Boylston but to Letterman. In fact, in the offices here when the bombings happened, uh, we had him on, on, online watching what was going on live, and uh, I turned to our director and I said, that's Letterman's system right there.